Hola, Pinoy Pajakero here. Okay, let's uh, let's test the live data of our Kia Rio. So we are going to plug this Innova Scan tool, the 3100, our trusty 3100 RS into the OBD port. Okay. All right. Then we're going to start our engine. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Let's look at the live data for now. We are going to look at the long-term fuel trim as well as the O2 sensor. Okay. So If you look at the short-term fuel trim and long-term fuel trim, if you add that, it should be uh, plus minus 10%. So that's the, um, uh, what you call this, that's the general rule, you know, at idle. Okay, so let's look at the uh, mass airflow sensor. Currently, it's at 0.56 pounds per minute. So I don't know the, uh, I, I will convert that. Uh, what What is it in grams per second? Okay, so let's look at the um, uh, O2 sensor. You know, it should fluctuate between zero, as you can see here, between zero to po around 0.7 volts. So it, it uh, means that the engine you know is switching between lean and rich okay so uh, what i'm going to do this is a, you know a, a youtuber um that i just subscribed to says that if you want to test your oxygen sensor if it is uh, you know reacting to a uh, uh, lean or rich um, uh, condition of the engine you can tell by pumping the brakes now what what does pumping the brakes if especially if uh, you have a uh, vacuum assisted uh, brake boost okay so most modern engines or most modern cars have that uh, feature uh, vacuum assisted uh, brake boost so i'm gonna pump the brakes a little and you can see that the you will see that the oxygen sensor B1S1 will fall into almost zero. So I'm doing it right now. See? So it means the engine is now um, seeing that uh, it has a lean condition. So the computer reacts by uh, giving in more. Uh, fuel so let's let's see the uh, short-term fuel trim uh, see here it's uh, around 14 point or rather 10.9 so it means it delivers more fuel so I'm gonna stop pumping the brakes and you can see it it will hover above around 0.4 so it means that the engine will correct as you can see the short-term fuel uh, trim uh, level is now correcting so it gives more air or lessening fuel to the um, to the engine okay so I guess my oxygen sensor now works okay so let's look at uh, what else shall we look at okay let's look at the uh -huh. okay the catalytic converter it says 900 degrees Fahrenheit so the engine hasn't warmed up yet Let's see the um, engine coolant temperature ECT so it says here 138 so it's not yet warmed up okay so let's look at the uh, long-term and short-term fuel trim uh, now you can see that the short-term fuel trim is now correcting because the engine is now slowly warming up so as you can see, it hovers between uh, negative plus minus 10%. So I, I guess this is uh, normal. So that's the uh, general consensus of, uh, I think, most of the 
um, mechanics that I've talked to. All right. Okay, so let's uh, pump up the brakes again. And you can see that it... So this uh, pumping up brakes simulates like a vacuum leak. All right. And it tells the short-term fuel trim bank one to say, hey, give your engine some more fuel because it, it looks like there's a lean condition. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop pumping the brakes as you can see the short term fuel trim bank one level goes to uh, its correction, you know, correction of the cycle. All right, let's look at our dashboard before I have a, um, a check engine light and I looked at the um, uh, check engine light uh, code. Uh, let's look at the history. Let's look at the history oh, okay the only way to look at the history is to connect our phone to this innova okay i will connect my phone to my innova uh my innova yeah to my innova scan tool okay where's that uh ah, there you go okay prepare solutions too okay i'm gonna connect it to here and let's test Okay, while the data is uploading, let's see what the oxygen sensor looks like. Okay. Okay, let's look at the custom live data. We're gonna superimpose our uh, <clears throat> short term fuel trim bank one and the oxygen sensor. Okay. And let's load to proceed. Okay. Hold on. It says here tap to update. So what's the um, 175,130? Uh, let's put this first. 130. So I got a very old engine. <laughs> All right. And let's see while it's generating report. Okay. So let's. <clears throat> Go ahead and look at the superimposed data. Let's look at the short-term fuel trim graph and the O2. Oh, wait a minute. And then here. All right. So let's um, superimpose it. Okay. So here on the left side, you have your short-term fuel trim um, uh, level and your o2 sensor on the right y-axis or the red graph okay so let's look at how the corrections was made by the by the engine okay so as you can see here <coughs> engine goes lean so the the short-term fuel trim compensate by pumping in more uh, fuel as it as the engine goes to high so uh, the oxygen sensor sen senses like a uh, uh, high level here it means the engine is rich so the fuel trim um, uh, will be correcting it okay so as you can see here it's it's generally like that so let's pump in the brakes again to simulate a uh, lean condition so the short-term fuel trim percent level goes to about 14 percent so it means the engine is uh, compensating the computer is compensating for a um, uh, higher oxygen or air fuel ratio okay and I will stop pumping the brakes and you can see that it will stabilize to about uh, zero percent okay so now it's negative 1.2 negative positive 8 so it hovers around that point okay so I guess our uh, engine now is operating okay 
All right, let's uh, look at our uh, report. Okay, engine. Uh, that's understandable. Okay. Okay, the EVAP system monitor is not yet finished. <laughs> or not completed. So we have a pe not a pending code, but uh, more of a uh, uh, report that uh, the engine is not yet op operating um, in its most efficient mode. Okay, let's look at our powertrain life data short term fuel trim is I think it's okay alright so I guess that solves the mystery uh, of why my um, uh, my engine throws in a uh, P0420 catalyst system bank 1 below threshold so I guess the computer is uh, still learning or still adapting to the new oxygen sensor data that it has, uh, you know, been been uh, that has been replaced a couple of weeks ago, right? So this is good. Rio is not is now back in business. Thanks, guys. All right, this is a super position of the two graphs of oxygen sensor bank one and bank two uh, black graph is the sensor one and the red graph is sensor two bank two so that's the downstream so as you can see the uh, oxygen sensor bank two or rather oxygen sensor bank one sensor two the downstream sensor is constant so this is normal all right problem solved